Mr. Ambassador, it is such a pleasure to have you with us here at the film festival and in Egypt. Tell us a little bit about your experience at the festival. Well, thanks, Yasmin. I'm here at the festival for the first time, but the U.S. Embassy has been supporting the festival since 2017. And I was very glad that I was able to come. Guna is such a beautiful place, wonderful venue. And I've met so many people from the world of culture, but also the world of business, and some of the other diplomats from Cairo are here as well. And I came for the opening weekend, was here for the opening ceremonies, and had a chance to talk to some of the press. And today was particularly special because I was able to give out some of the awards that the U.S. Embassy sponsors. Amazing. And when I say we've supported the film festival, what we've done this year is uh, sponsor an industry panel for Egyptian filmmakers with American producers, directors, and film industry executives, a week-long script writing workshop, wow. and uh, the awards we gave out today are for virtual residencies. They're basically mentorship programs where two Egyptian filmmakers will get script consultations and one-on-one -on -one meetings with American producers, directors, screenwriters, film industry executives, and they'll be tailored to their individual projects. It was really nice to, to be able to contribute in that way. And one of the things that I talked about today at the award ceremony was the role of culture. One of the fa founding fathers of the EU, Jean Monnet, famously said that if he could start the whole EU project over again from scratch, he would start with culture instead of wow. coal and steel. And culture is a way to communicate across international boundaries. Yes. Most people, when they think about diplomacy and statecraft, don't think about culture, but it's an important part of what we do at the embassy. It's why we sponsor things like the Guna Film Festival, because when you think about medium that can be used in that cultural space to communicate across boundaries, there are few that are as powerful as film. And if you're going to talk about film in the Middle East, there's no place better to do it than Egypt. Yes, and that's the one thing, you know, however people feel about America, everybody loves American culture, American movies and music. So. It's a great way to spread, spread the American dream, the American mm -hmm. message. Well, and what we're doing, because both Egypt and the U.S. have this great, rich history in, in, in film and uh, have a tradition of innovative filmmakers and creative d directors and producers, uh, we see this and, and other festivals, the Cairo Film Festival, as wonderful opportunities to support the filmmakers, but also to help them create bonds between American and Egyptian filmmakers so they can better tell their stories in each other's countries, but also it, it helps materially improve relations between our countries because the people understand. Yes, and this is just part of the broad work you're doing outside the political sphere in Egypt. Like, I think so many of our viewers don't realize the huge impact that the American Embassy has here. So I'd love to hear more about the projects you've been focusing on since you've been here. Well, without, without getting into the political side of things, <laughs> On the aid and development side, many Egyptians don't know that over the last 40 years, the United States has invested over $30 billion in Egypt wow. uh, to support everything from health care to water systems to schools to infrastructure. Now we're helping to work on the digitization of the economy, economic governance, women's economic empowerment. The breadth and depth of the projects is um, astounding, and I've been spending some of my time the last months trying to see some of the projects to get more personally familiar with them, but also trying to get the message out to people of Egypt so that yes. they know that 25 million Egyptians get their clean drinking water because of projects done by the U.S. Wow. That we've trained over 100,000 Egyptian teachers and built over 2,000 Egyptian schools. So our investment is representative of our commitment to the people and to this country. That's and, amazing. Uh, and I think Egypt is very, very fortunate to have such a charismatic and friendly and genuine, articulate ambassador like you. Well, thank you and so much. Um, you are particularly engaged with the Egyptian people. You know, we've, we're seeing you at different events. Uh, you're always talking to people, getting to know people. Tell us a bit about your diplomatic style, because you have a unique style that is making a huge impact. Well, I'm trying to meet as many people as I can. And I have to say, COVID, put a big break on, <laughs> on my work. And I was really fortunate that I met so many people the first four months of my time here. I've been here just a year now. So for the first four months, I was traveling as many places as I could get. I was meeting as many people as I could possibly meet. And of course, because of, of COVID, the travel stopped and the social interaction stopped. But I was able to stay in touch with all the people I'd met before through FaceTime and Zoom and <laughs> Microsoft Teams and all the other platforms that, that we use. Now, since September, it started to open up again and I've been traveling um, more. And we're able to do 
representational events and, and social gatherings in small kind of safe spaces. But for me, the people-to-people -people contact is, is essential. It's part of what makes the job meaningful and it's part of what underpins the success of our diplomacy. Yes. And is there something in mind you have for the however long, hopefully a very long time left in Egypt that you'd like to accomplish while you're here? Is there a particular goal or mission that you have in mind oh, that you'd like I, I to see a, happen? I have a long list of goals, <laughs> but my, my overriding one is to strengthen and deepen the relationship between the Egyptian people and the Egyptian nation and the United States of America. And I think we're making some good progress on that, so I will keep at it. And um, thank you so much for having me tonight. Thank you, thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.